So you guys, today is a brand new day for me. Domel is here with me, right Domel? This princess is sleeping. Uh, it, we have a Sigma Make Me Classic Essential Kit and it's a brand new kit for me. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, jumping into this one. Looks really, really nice. So Domel is over here sitting with me because today- We're doing a challenge today. What's we're the challenge, Felicia? So the name today is called My Makeup Does My Boyfriend Does My Makeup with My Own Makeup. Oh my gosh, what do you mean? So we're basically going to be working today doing your makeup with my makeup. The makeup that I would normally would use on myself. And a little extra to enhance the physical appearance. Yeah. Yes, girl. So we're gonna be working with a couple of new brushes that I have in here. Um, while we also get them ready, but he doesn't even know what's gonna be the finish for no. him or how he's gonna look because I'm nervous. Most of the video, I think he's gonna be blamed for it. Yeah. This reminds me. Did you do you remember the face swap when it was a thing on Snapchat? We used to swap our faces. Am I gonna look like you at the end of this? I don't know. You gotta check out if we're gonna look like each other. Right. Or am I gonna look worse or better, mama? Exactly. So I'm bringing that, I'm kind of like getting ready with all this like. This is brand new. He's just, I don't even know what he's opening. What are you, is this the brushes? Those are the brushes. Go ahead and hold okay, them. Okay, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, hold that baby here. We have so many. They feel nice. They feel very nice. They feel like Topper a painter's brush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, like, foundation. The foundation one. Okay. Okay, can you guess which ones are which ones? This hold is on, foundation. Oh, let me see. So this foundation. Let's see what we got it right. It is right. Uh, I don't know. This might be blush. Let's I think see. this is blush. This is blush. The, uh, yes. It says uh, large angle contour blush brush. Come through, honey. Um... Oh, baby. Uh, Do you know which one is that one? Is this like a buffing brush? Mm -hmm, okay. It's a buffing brush. I was like, I'm trying to figure this out. It feels a little skinny. I don't know, girl. You need to go on a diet. This it's like augmentation kind, baby. Let's see this one. Ah, uh, this is a powder brush, right? Is it? I don't know. Large powder brush. Yes, bitch. And this one. Ah, this is a little different. I feel like this is an eyebrow or like a lip brush. No, lip brushes are a little finer than this. I'm gonna say this is like an eyeliner slash eyebrow pencil. Let me see. This is a small angle brush. Exactly what I said, baby girl. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. We got baby a girl. couple more, I don't know if you wanna do them. So what do you think okay. is this one right here? Let me see. Where is it? Uh, either a lip or an eyeliner brush. Depends. If you're Japanese, it's an eyeliner brush, honey. If you're not... Eyeliner. It, okay. All right. They're Japanese. Hallelujah. What is this one right here? Hold on. Put your hand backwards. For the motion, I'm going to say it's a highlighting brush. A highlighting brush. I'm through, baby. It speaks to my veins. You've guessed almost every single brush right. Yes, honey. This is a challenge on its own, boo boo. It is a challenge. Mm hmm. Hmm. Concealer brush. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me show it to the public. Uh-huh. Want to throw chiquita? Oh, damn. Chiquita? What are ya? Um, this looks like a um, buffing brush, maybe? Is it a buffing brush? It is. Okay, are you sure? It says here, medium angle shading brush. Okay, kind of buffing, maybe. Half a point. This is, what is this one right here? Mm. 
be like, yeah. I don't know. Like, no, I feel like it's a concealer brush. Or maybe a packing brush. Yeah. This to me, this is just like it's it's like the consistency a of a concealer brush. brush, but it's the shape of a packing. Okay, go through the gear. And then the last two are gonna be this ones right here. So I need you to because you've guessed them all right. So, Do I get like a Jeffree Star? Um, what is it? His little challenge packages. I wish. Baby girl, or the the Gucci's. Come through, baby girl. Welcome back to your channel, Jeffrey. Um, hmm. Damn, this is difficult. They feel weird and similar. This is a large shader brush. I wouldn't have said shader brush. I would have said like a buffing brush, but that's okay. And then the last one, it's um. Uh... This feels like a liner. It's either a liner or it's a lip. I think it's a liner. Is this a liner? This is a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> it says pencil, so. Oh, well, you know, I was like, are you really giving me a pencil? It was a soft no, no, um, no, carbon cool. tip, honey. So uh, today we're gonna be starting with a little bit of Let's see, what do we have in here? We had a mini challenge in that challenge. Did I slay it or what? You did. Leave it down below in the comment, boo boo. So we're gonna grab our uh, one of our favorite um, tools to moisturize and prime your skin. This is called- Do I take these off now? If you want to. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. This one is called Clinique Pepster. And I just grab a little bit and massage it onto your uh, the face just to make sure that he is fully um, hydrated and moisturized everywhere. Girl, you're talking about yourself in third person. He come through with it. See, hi. Sorry. And then we're gonna jump into the foundation. For this foundation, it will be the Cover Girls Got You Cover with True Land Mad Foundation. Girl, this are you covered? Cause Cover Girls Got You Cover. <laughs> exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Cover Girl True Blend. And for the first time in my life, just like Mariah Carey says, I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be using the Sigma Foundation Brush in F60. This is the flat foundation. And I'm I'm just getting into this kind of foundation, that brush. I think it just needs a little bit more practice for me, uh, even though uh, I think mm. I got it. Okay, so I feel like the biggest issue with um, mm -hmm. this, I don't think it's meant to be like the main function unless you're going with a sponge after to erase any kind of markings. But you know how would you apply it way before back in the day there was no sponge at all? Like, nah, you are you sure? Go I mean the hands? The, and don't try not to make any faces, any gestures. Girl, he's shutting down my questioning. I know. Well, you know what? I want to talk about this in this video. The things that you don't want to do when you go to the makeup counter. I think one of the reasons, uh, one of the things that you shouldn't be doing when you go to the makeup counter is to use the testers and apply them directly. What do you think? I mean, shit, if you don't care. I mean, if you don't, if you don't care, honey, you need to start caring. Don't do it. They always have makeup sanitizers, and um, they always have alcohol. Right, I mean, th th by not doing it doesn't mean that the team at a counter isn't concerned about the safeties and the health, you know, regulations. Raise your mm -hmm. That, you know, the country or the state has. It's just a matter that they try, but some people are not aware, you know, that there's bacteria and, you know, things they, you know, slip through the cracks. I think also one of the biggest things when you go to a makeup counter, if you are approached by, um, how do you say that? Um, by representatives, by consultants, by, uh, you know, employees. In general, I used to be one of those people, one of those people who used to walk into a counter and they, if there was something, somebody would approach me and be like, hey, do you need any help? I would get very upset and be like, no, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, oh. be on the, the defensive mechanism. Be like, I don't know. And I think most of the time it was because I felt like they just were looking at harassing me. Harassing you, yeah. Harassing you, but not only harassing you. Uh, in my previous experience, I feel like it's more about... Um, them targeting you. Targeting you because I'm Latino, I'm tall, I'm a man. You're looking at the beauty section. So to me, I felt like I was being harassed. Right. I mean, for sure. I feel like there has been experiences where you have, mm-hmm. unfortunately. However... Um, I don't even know what's happening. However, um, I just think not everybody's like that. Some people are just ignorant and they deserve a chance to get unignorant. Exactly. I would definitely agree with that. Um, and then... Um, Do I have foundation on my face brows? already? Where's your brows? Mama, you don't, You can't know. You can't find out right now. Oh my God. Do I look crazy? No. Or do I look like I went to... Where's your brows? I went to Cabo and got a nice little tan. That. Not too. Yes, baby. And I think um, most of the times, um, it is a lot about also uh, expectations. There's also a lot of people who are very impatient when they come across and say, be like, um, you know, um, they they know what they want. They know what it will. And then a lot of the times they become impatient with the people who they are working at the counter. And it just becomes more on the aggressive side. <laughs> for them too. Now, one thing for sure that I've learned with my process of purchasing and going back and forth at the counter, it's don't buy stuff that you're probably not going to use. Because a lot of the times it's all about like excitement. Give me a smile, baby girl. Bigger smile, baby girl. It, I think it's a lot about the... um. Um, of excitement, but a lot of the times too, it could be about oh, that's not really nice. This brushes are really nice to apply makeup. Um, but a lot of the times when you work on the other side of you know the counter, um, I think you get to see the reason why a lot of the uh, retailers get upset when you re- buy a lot of stuff and they return a lot of stuff. Does that make any sense? I hope so. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I know. Let's see, Barbie girl. But then again, we're still doing something natural, but on the same light of uh, doing something. This is fun your. I mean, you know, your everyday. Plus, if you feel like something could be fun to try, you know, and embrace, you could do that too. Yeah. So we're gonna add a little bit over here. Can you guess what it is? Are you bronzing me to the gods? I'm bronzing you to the gods. Thank you. Go ahead and give me a Kim Kardashian look. So over here, right where he... Okay. Oh, again, one more time for me, please. You can't be opening your eyes, mama? Mm-mm. No, good. Okay, good. All right, Mama. And I'm not even lying. This is the hardest thing Why? I have ever done in my life. Because I want to look so bad. Now we're going to go ahead and open this Cover FX uh, liquid highlighters for the first time. And I think we're going to use... For the first time in forever. This one right here. Which one? You can know, Mama. <laughs> Let me see if I... Give me the bottle and I'll try and see if I can feel no, it out. No, maybe not. Trust me, trust me. They are all the same size. I know, I know. But, you know, maybe I have the energy of the colors or something in my hand. Girl. Girl. I feel like it's the purple. Is it the purple? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like you looked. Did I you did. Look? I swear. I swear on everything. I did not look. Are you sure, Mama? I'm 100% sure. We're going to try with the use a brush with this one. <laughs> I mean, they're not a hundred percent. Not a hundred percent about this color right here. Baby mama, don't laugh. It is you who were doling up. Am I looking the part? What's going on, girl? Is it pretty? It's super pretty. I think you're gonna fall in love with this. Are you okay, Mom? Yeah, I just thought your your finger all of a sudden hit my face, and I was like, "Shit, he's putting so much on." I am. And it was the blending to Let erase it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
¿No es así? ¿De dos años? What I like about this highlighters is that they don't they don't feel clumpy. Like, you know. I might need a beauty blender. Those brushes are not good for liquid highlighters. Try the buffing brush. Like the little Do we have a buffing brush in here? Yeah. We oh sorry. We said that there was like the skinny top maybe has like little white feather hair. I don't know. Maybe you're right. No, we're just gonna go ahead. Oi. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So the really cool thing about this brand, Cover Effects, right? Mm -hmm. So these guys, they try to be as natural as they can be. Like a lot of their products, you know, don't have silicones or harsh chemicals into the formula, and they have really cool stuff. Like, um, I think Hourglass. So we're gonna go back with the brow product. And this is a It Girl Beauty Book 2018. We're gonna grab a little bit of the superhero liner. And we're just gonna go ahead and raise your brows for me. There we go. Your brows are really thin. Did you do something? There we go. Let me go ahead and brush them. We lost the brush a while back. We're almost good. Raise your breath. Well, let's stop moving. I don't know, what did you say? Hmm? What were you gonna say? Um, uh, nothing. I was just wondering if this was like the brush. It was the brush. Don't raise your brows one more time for me. I feel like these brushes are so good. You like them? I like them. They grab the product, they don't, like they help me apply the product, they don't just like product is not sitting on them. It's actually like working. Raise your brows, Mama. I don't even know what look we're gonna chip today, but we're gonna chip something. Raise your brows, Mama. Turn a little bit to the left side and raise your brows. <laughs> the sugar mama has been a little bit difficult today. <laughs> this little mama. This is an exciting challenge. I'm excited. I want to see how. Raise your brows, mama. Your boyfriend looks with your makeup on the edge. Raise your brow one more time. We're actually just using one brush and um to be honest the other day I heard something like do you even need as um like as a regular person um would you want to invest a lot of money when it comes to using a, a makeup brush set and a lot of the times I hear no you don't and I think I agree a little bit just because I feel like you know even if a real makeup artist like a professional makeup artist mm -hmm. um a lot of the times they make up work anything the way they want to. Right. You don't really want to... Like, you can spend, obviously. You can start getting more items because nothing is going to last you forever. Raise your brow, mama. Little mama. Little mama. Baby mama. How you doing, mama? You doing okay, mama? Mama? And I think a lot of the times people get... Like, I used to get worked out because I didn't have a lot of... Uh, raise your brows, mama. Because I didn't have a lot of uh, products, but now that I'm gathering more items into my makeup kit, I feel like I'm okay with it, you know? Like, I just don't feel like I need that many products anymore. And I feel like also, like, it depends on the technique. 
And people are, nowadays, I feel like they're doing pretty advanced techniques on themselves. They do. So it depends on the technique and, of course, like your preference of a brush and. Let me see more. The fullness. Sugar more. Where's your brows? You have some. You have some, you have some hooded eye. So. Oh, you think so? I don't think so. Why you have it? Raise your brows, mama. You guys, if you think I have hooded eyes, comment down below. Raise your brows. Let's find out what kind of eyes do I have. I have the seeing kind. See? Open up your eyes. Looks pretty. Are you ready, mama? Am I done? No, you were done, I think. I mean, I would do a little bit of lip, but I don't know. I if mean, you you, we said our everyday routines, oh, and if I'm we feel sorry. like something can be advanced. I don't think you do the eye thing every day. I don't even know what this is, but you did a lot of things up in those eyes. No, I don't, I don't think I do usually makeup on. As much. We're going to do this bright red Pure Joy as a lipstick. Because this little mama is like ready to slay the game. <laughs> Today I slayed that game with uh, guessing the names or guessing the brush. Mm. You know what? I was grabbing the wrong product. Mm. The, the right product with the wrong brush. Is the pencil for lips? I think the pencil like it looks full enough to like do detail liner work or maybe the lips too. I've never really liked the skinny tiny little lip brush. We're actually going to do a little bit of liner. Go ahead and close your eyes, Mama. They're closed, baby. Close them and raise them, Mama. Don't move, Mama. You may get killed in here. <laughs> Is that going to be that sharp, baby? I can cut it, baby. Raise your eyes like that. There you go, there you are. Smiling. Don't move in, please, Mama. I know you're nervous, but it's okay. It was her life. <laughs> right, and raise your brows, Mama. That'd be difficult. Raise your brows, Mama. And stop being difficult. Half an hour later. Maybe, Mama. Wake up. <laughs> Let me focus. Raise your brows. The shoot, Mama. Raise your brows. I'm raising. You're not going to look, that look one. Look at me. <laughs> you're. This, <laughs> Raise your brows. <laughs> We're almost finished. I promise you. Raise. You know, as a kid, once I got asked if I wore eyeliner because my lashes were thick, and I was like, oh, no. But thank you. I think we're gonna use this pencil brush just for the lips. Okay. Open up your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is pretty. A pen. Why put you? Uh -huh. What'd you put on them? Go ahead and open your mouth. Open up. Very pretty. This is called Pure Bliss. It's a one right in the middle. And I think it works fantastic. One in the middle. They, uh, so we have three choices on this uh, ah. booklet. The one on the left side, I think, is more of a cherry. The one in the middle is more of a nude pink. And it's very much alike, like your gorgeous lips. Um, I think it just enhances it with a little bit of gloss, but not a lot. Let me see. Mm, it doesn't feel too glossy. Good. And then the third one, which we use the liner. This is Pure Bliss. Like the brand Pure Bliss? Mm. It says Pure Bliss, so I don't know, Mama. <laughs> so we're going to add a we'll little... Check it. Hmm? Check it, Mama. Check it, Mama. Check it, Mama. Check it, Mama. We're going to add a little bit of buy my pores because this Mama is full of pores. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Everybody has pores, and that's Girl. one of the reasons why everybody goes crazy in here a lot of times with makeup, and you just got to accept yourself. And the fact that, you know, you can minimize the pores, but you're never going to get Yeah, but you make pores. it sound like I'm crazy poured. No, you're not. I'm, I'm pretty averagely poured, okay? Mama, stop moving. Mama, you have some pizza over here, Mama. What's going on? Did you have a break? And were you eating pizza? <laughs> is that what it is? Mm, Go ahead I and take a look. I don't think so. I think it's your makeup. Sugar Mama? Go ahead and take a look. And just shall say it away. How do you feel about the eyeshadow? 
You know how you know, feel like you have I. Uh, I just feel like a uh, middle aged, well, middle aged Asian. You don't feel like you have a hooded eye. Yeah, I feel like a middle aged Asian mother. Why? I mean, that's how I feel like I would be. <coughs> we love the Asian culture, by the way. Go ahead and close. <coughs> <coughs> Go ahead and close your eyes close for the camera eyes. and raise your brows so everybody can see it. So tell us uh, out of this look, this fabulous, frosty, Elsa, <laughs> Elsa Asian inspired mm -hmm. look, what, um, what, what out of this would you do on a daily or on a weekly or on an occasional basis? Me? Me as a person? Yes. Close your eyes? Well, normally don't wear a lot of makeup. I wear when I'm reviewing a foundation, or I feel like I need to do something for, you know, I work in the beauty industry, so raise your brows, so you have who to hide. Um, <laughs> he doesn't know, he doesn't know what kind of eye I have. What kind of eye do you have, mama? I don't know, I just have an eye, I don't know. This what... little mama is being <laughs> dishonest. <laughs> oh, raise your brows, raise your brows. How high do you want them, my God. Like all the way to the For, ceiling. Forget Botox, baby. This is it. I think you're almost good. Um, what were we talking about? We we're talking about something. What were we talking about, guys? Write it down in the comment down below. In the comment down below. Too many conversations happening. Baby. Maybe you're, I think you lost some of my brushes in here. Because what do you need? I need the, front, the highlight brush. We have two of them. The highlight brush? Mm -hmm. I use this one. Hi, baby mama. I think you messed up the time. I didn't mess up any kind of time. It's okay, baby girl. It is okay, baby girl. And I feel like I don't normally wear a lot of makeup, so when I when if I were to wear makeup, I would do just a little bit of highlight. What is it? I can't see anything. And I, I would do a little bit of brows, and that's about it. Honestly, because I work in a bit industry, I have I, sometimes I feel like I have to wear some makeup on. Um, even though it's not like hundred percent required, even though it is a little bit. So. It's not required by the company to do makeup on me if I don't want however, to. However, it, it's required for people to feel comfortable in that environment with you. That's just the reality of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. She's being shady right now. No, I think that's the truth. I think she's shady. What do you guys think? Comment down below. <laughs> okay, all right, come through. So tell me, do we? Do we love this princess? <laughs> I don't know. We do love we it. love the princess? We love her. <laughs> okay, so based on that, that's what you would do on a daily basis. Get in here, Mr. Artist. I'll tell you what I don't like. Close your eyes. What lipstick? What was the lipstick? Close your eyes. We're gonna set her until tomorrow morning. Mm. There we go. We use some all nighter. What was the lipstick you said? It's called. Oh, from It Cosmetics. Pure Bliss. Oh, okay. So you use Pure Joy as a liner. You can Where? take a look. Pure Joy is this one right here. The eyeliner? Mm hmm. Okay. And then we also use Pure Bliss as a lipstick, just this pink way. I just find it to be like a little grayish, very frosty. Because Can you see what I'm talking about? Mama, are you okay, Mama? I'm very, very fine, but Why are you wet over here? Because of the setting spray. Damn. No, it's not true. You only wet over here. You sent me to the gods, the babe. Okay. Um... How do you feel about the eyebrows? Okay, right, true. Um, I like the brows. They're a little bit bold. They're a little bit, you know. Um, no, the way you would wear them on the database. Yeah, no. It, it looks a little theatrical for me. Are you sure? Yeah, the brows look a little theatrical. What do you mean by that? It, you know, just very... Um, Can you be honest? You know, very expressive. Like, woo ha ha Jimmy, Jimmy, Changa. And you don't think that's right? Um, for your style? Definitely not what I'm, I'm comfortable or used you to comfortable? wearing. Let me see. Huh? Let me see. In the, in the video. I think you look good. I think uh, you just have You're too much gracing. highlight. No, I think that's the best part of this. You didn't let me get to that, baby. Um, 
Yeah, I like the foundation. You know, it's actually not that just, bad on the skin. No, it just looks mm-hmm. a little bit bronze. Yeah, I just look like, you and know. because of your hair, it just kind of hides in between the, your My hair. Beard. I'm not upset. I'm not upset with the foundation. Highlighted. I, I We're definitely looking like we're about to be like on a boat. Ding, ding. It's over on this side, baby. Um, I like the highlighters. Mm, which one is this one on top here? The Ed Cosmetics one? Mm-hmm. The okay. white one. So I like the Ed Co- I really do like the Ed Cosmetics one. However, I I, on top of this very glimmery one, it almost looks chalky. Do you see? I think you can even pick it up in the camera. You see how wet this looks and how chalky that actually makes it look? But don't get me wrong. I really like that. Um, that's actually one of the, yeah, the my favorite highlighters I've tried on their brand. Um, it's called Brilliant. <laughs> Um, but I mean, other than that, I don't think this is that bad. Brilliant. I could use your makeup anytime. You can. Mm. With all this being said, guys, let us know if you guys like this video and if you guys like this kind of uh, type of videos. And we'll be back with more. Uh, for right now, I would say that definitely hit us on the comments down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as follow Duamel, Mr. Princess Sleeping, the Sleeping Princess. All under Duomel da Quiñones. It's Cinderella to you. All right, mamas. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.